Welcome to the Functional Skills System, Coins and Dollars. Okay, this is another app by the Conover Company called Coins and Dollars. Let's go in as the FSS Select user. Select the video you want to watch. And this is basically an application that gets you used to the currency uh, of all the different types of uh, denominations and all of the different types of language associated with uh, coins and dollars and money in general. So you can go through this, it's organized from A to Z, and um, look at any of these uh, that you like. So let's click on one. Quarter, new back. When you turn over the front of the quarter, you see the back. The backs of the new quarters each have a different picture for one of the 50 states. This quarter shows the state of Washington. A quarter is 25 cents. Quarter. New back. And so on. Let's have a look at one of the uh, words. Refund. This word says refund. A refund is money you get back for returning something you paid for or bought and then did not want or like. You take what you don't want back to the store you bought it from. You then can get your money back. Refund. And so on. So everything is uh, organized from uh, A to Z. Uh, let's have a look at one more. $20. New front. This is the front of a $20 bill. This is the newer $20 bill, which has more color than the old bill. The front of $20 has a head on it. This is the back. A $20 bill has a 20 on it. Twenty dollars, new front. And so on. And so you can go through any of these. I'll show you one very quickly with the coins. Uh, there's lots of different descriptive words. Uh, we'll go all the way back up here. And uh, let's have a look at the dollar coin. One dollar coin. This says one dollar. A coin with a one dollar sign on it is a one dollar coin. One dollar coin. Okay, so that's a when you come in as the FSS user, you get to look at every single video that there is on there without putting them into a a playlist that uh, maybe the group or the kids or the adults need to be learning or or concentrating on to get uh, get familiar with. So I'll, I'll show you how to create a playlist. We go back out to the main screen, and we'll come in on the home screen. Welcome to the functional skills system coins and dollars and what we're going to do is we're going to log in as the administrator and create a playlist okay so there's already a test user in there John Doe and uh, when you click on him he has a sort of a playlist in there what we're going to do is we're going to create our own we're going to add a user so it's as simple as this just typing in your uh, name and we'll click save yes that is correct and when you click on the name you'll notice there's nothing in the playlist so we'll click on the film strip on the top right of this and um, then you have all of the videos available to you so for example if we wanted to learn about um, the one dollar coin the old and the new version you would add those to the playlist if you wanted to learn about the pennies we already highlighted this but if you wanted to learn about the pennies uh, front and back. You could add those to the program or to the playlist. Uh, the ten dollars, let's say we want to learn about those. And then we have a playlist of things that we want to talk about, we want to learn about, we want to get familiar with um, and we can just concentrate on those things. So you'll see there's about a dozen things to work with there. When we go back out, now one great thing about the users is it doesn't have to be by name, it can actually be by category. So it could be by coins, it could be by bills, uh, it could be by any any type of uh, description that you want it to be, but let's quit and uh, log in as a user. Please type your first name, then press done. Please type your last name, then press done. And we'll log in. Select the video you want to watch. So now you see that the, the playlist we created with the $1 coins, the pennies, the front and the back and the $10 are in here. You also notice there's no way to get out of this program other than pressing the home button on your device. 
The reason for that is so that there's no distractions and you can concentrate on what you're trying to learn. So as simple as this is, clicking on one of them will teach you about that. One dollar coin, back. This coin is the back of a one dollar coin, which has a picture of a bird on it. A one dollar coin is one dollar. One dollar coin, back. Okay, and, and so on. You would basically go through this. We'll show you one more of the new $10, $10 bills. New back. This is the back of a $10 bill. This is the newer $10 bill, which has more color than the old bill. The back has the same building as the older $10 bill. A $10 bill has a 10 on it. $10, new back and so on and you would just continue to go through the playlist that you're trying to learn or become familiar with until um, you want to create uh, another playlist playlist can be deleted at any time uh, from the user uh, to get back out you obviously have to press the home screen and come back in um, on the main screen so there's no Welcome distraction to the functional skills system coins and dollars so that brings you back to the main home screen where you either log in as the administrator or you log in as a new user uh, but this is another app by the conover company and it's called coins and dollars